three rules for success in business. Number one, always choose higher quality rather than lower cost. Most companies think the way to sell more is to lower the price. But the true reason for success, and there's years of research, is to improve the quality of your product. The second rule is to focus on revenue generation rather than on um, the costs of your business, uh, rather than on the price that things cost. Focus on revenue generation. And rule number three is that there are no other rules. <laughs> Two rules, focus on quality and focus on revenues. You improve the quality of your product. There was a study of the 500 fastest growing companies in the world that came out last year. And they found the number one place where they invested was improving the quality of the product. Mm. That if you had a certain amount of money to invest in your business, it was not on advertising or machinery or computers. Quality. Impro improve the quality. Success. As a speaker, teacher and writer, how do you improve the quality of what you are doing? Well, in my estimation, if I am successful, people will listen to me and take actions that are different from before and they will get better results. Yes. So therefore, my job is to study and research so that I can give people the best ideas that they can use immediately to get better results. And so I continue to research on every subject and sometimes I find a new idea that someone has learned that's better than an old idea, so I will change that. There is a lot of book of, about the power of the why. For example, we have uh, Simon Sinek who talk yeah. a lot about the why. I would love to know two things. What is your why, if you have, if you, if you have one? Yes. And if you have, how did you find it? And also how people can find their own why? Well, the, the, the whole purpose of a business, mission, purpose, goal, strategy, in my estimation, is to help people. It's to help people achieve something or accomplish something that they could not achieve or accomplish without your help. So that's the why. And for me, the why is very simple. When I was young, I was poor, and I had no education and no money. And then I discovered continuous learning, personal development. I found you can learn anything that you need to learn to be successful in that area. You could learn to do brain surgery if that was important to you. You could learn to repair an expensive automobile. You could learn to prepare a dish in the kitchen. You can learn anything. You can learn all business skills. You can learn all sales skills. When I discovered this, I still remember. I wow. couldn't believe it because it meant that my potential was unlimited. And the more you learn because of the way your brain works, the stronger it becomes so you can learn more faster. It's like a muscle. If you make yes. your muscle strong, it be, you can... You can do more in less of time. Yes. And so I practiced it myself and cha <laughs> changed my life within one year. So then I began to tell other people, this is how it works. And they took the ideas and they changed their lives. And so I began to teach and tell people these ideas. And then I realized I needed to learn more. So I spent thousands of hours reading and studying and going to seminars. I took 4,000 hours at the university to get an MBA degree. I took hundreds of hours of audio programs, maybe thousands. Train yourself. To train, to learn new ideas, to help people achieve success faster mm. than they ever would. Because I had that experience. I wanted everyone else to have that experience. Mm. Even when I'm talking to you now, you can see this is my passion. Because I want to help people to be successful faster. Some people will maybe listen to us or watch us and say, okay, I have to be disciplined. I have to um, know what are my three main priorities. I know that wh what I have to do, but I don't know how to find the motivation to do it. Yes. Well, that brings us back to our discussion about goal setting, is you have to have written goals as well for your life. A recent study comparing rich people and poor people 
they find that 85% of rich people have one big goal that they work on all the time. Only 3% of poor people have goals. So you have to decide what is your biggest goal.